Hi, this tutorial covers a specific type of graph called the bar graph. So let's take a look at some study data. So a Rasmussen report study from June 2012 randomly sampled 1,000 Americans and asked them, asked them if they thought that buying a home was the best investment a family could make. Uh, 540 answered yes, 245 answered no, and 215 were undecided. Okay, so this is a qualitative data set because the answers yes, no, or undecided are all categories, not, and it's, so it's not quantitative data or numerical data. It is qualitative or categorical data. Um, and a common way that qualitative data can be displayed is by using a bar graph. So a bar graph is a chart that displays bars that are proportional in length to the frequency or relative frequency of a particular data value. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how you could make a bar graph for the um, for that study data. All right, so what we're going to do first is make a set of axes. So we we need an x and a y axis. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to use a ruler here. So we'll go down and like so. Okay. And what this axis is going to be is this is going to represent our question responses. Okay. And um, the y axis here is going to represent frequency. Okay, so my question responses were either yes, no, or undecided. So what I'm going to do is space those evenly on my um, x-axis, and I'm going to put little tick marks for each of the responses. Okay, so again, this is going to represent yes, this will represent no, this will represent undecided. Okay, um, then what I need to do to, to label my y-axis for frequency is I need to think about, well, what response had the highest frequency? And if you recall, that was um, the yes response, which had a frequency of 540. So we need to go up to at least 540. We also need to think about, well, what, what scale should we use on our axes? On our axis. So I would say that we could count maybe by hundreds. So if we're going to count by uh, 100, we would need to start at zero and probably go up to 600 because that would be the next greatest. We could get 540 on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is again use my ruler to get equal spacing and draw in some tick marks. I'm making each of the tick marks about a half inch apart. And if I count by, I counted by a hundreds, but what I'm going to do is just label every 200. Okay, so that's a pretty common way of. Um, of doing that. Okay, and now what I need to do is I need to draw bars for yes, no, and undecided. And I want my bars centered on the, the specific response. So my yes bar is going to go all the way up to 540. So 540 is going to be in between 500 and 600, but closer to 500 than 600. All right, so let's go ahead and so again, I want this centered. Um, I want the bar centered on yes, so my bar is going to go like this, and it's going to go all the way up to 540. So I'm going to draw as straight as I can down, and the other side of the bar will go like that, and I will finish off the bar like that. Okay, and then sometimes it's common to write down what the frequency is above the bar. Okay, so now for no, no it was um, 245. So 245 uh, is going to be pretty close to the middle of these two, two marks here. So again, I'm going to, I want it centered on no. So I'm going to mark it here and here. And then I need to go up to 240. And 240 is going to be about here and about here. And mark it like that. Or I'm sorry, this is 245. So two, that's about 245 there. And then for undecided, again, center my bar. And this is going to be centered at the center there. And it's going to go up to 215. So that's going to be a little bit shy of the last one I drew there. OK. 
Okay, and again, this will be 215. All right, so this represents a bar graph of the home as an investment data set. Um, a couple things about a bar graph is that I just arbitrarily assign, assigned these values here as yes, no, or undecided. I could have easily put undecided here, yes here, and no here. These can be mixed up. So the ordering of qualitative data is generally not important. So these bars, these categories can be labeled um, any way you'd like. Um, again, when you're making your bar graph, make sure that you have a consistent scale on your y-axis and that your bars are centered on the category type. All right, so that is an example of how to draw a bar graph. Okay, another graph that is common is what's called a multiple bar graph. Um, a multiple bar graph is a type of bar graph that can be used to compare qualita qualitative data sets from multiple populations. Okay, and I have one um, that's constructed ar already. And this represents religious affiliation in New Zealand from um, 1991 to 2006. Okay, and if you can see that um, we have four religions or four different religion responses um, that were possible here. So we have Christian, no religion, object to answering, so they didn't want to answer there, or other. Okay, and we can see that now on the year, the year we have 91, 96, 2001, 2006. So these um, represent the different populations. So we have a population from 91, from 96, 01, and 06. Okay, now we can see that for each, each of these populations, our four different categories are represented as such. Um, this actually is going to be a relative frequency bar graph that's actually represented as a percentage. So instead of frequency here, they have percentage, which they calculated using the relative frequencies. Um, so you can see that in 91, 70%, um, about 70% were Christian, about 20% were, were none, and maybe it looks about 8% object to answering, and um, maybe about 2% we're in the other category. What this is nice is that you can see that from 91 to 2006 there appears to be a decline in people that express Christian as their as their um, religion. Um, we can also see that no religion is consistently going up. The other thing that we can tell from this bar graph is within each year it still does seem that the majority of people are still Christian. So what's nice about the multiple bar graph is that you can compare not only categories within each population, but you can compare um, one category amongst multiple populations. Okay, so this is one type of multiple bar graph um, that does display four different data sets within one graph. Uh, so that's been the tutorial on bar graph. Uh, thanks for watching.